Thank you so much, Paul, for that uh, uh, very nice introduction and really rallying cry about this cause uh, and for hosting us today. And thank you to the entire GUESS organization. Uh, I, I don't know if you know this, but GUESS is the first major company, national and international as they are, the first major company and brand to take on this issue. This is a courageous step on behalf of our communities. This is the 15th anniversary of Denim Day. Uh, it's a milestone in our sexual violence prevention education campaign. And as Paul described, it, became, it began in Italy after a Supreme Court justice overturned a lower court's rape conviction of a 43-year-old driving instructor. He did this, the judge said, because the 17-year-old, a driving student, was wearing tight jeans, and since the attacker would not have been able to get them off without help, this was not rape, but consensual sex. This became known as the jeans alibi, or the sexy clothing defense, or the consent defense. This caused an uproar, and the female members of parliament wore jeans in protest on the steps of the Supreme Court in Rome. Members of the California legislature followed suit, wearing jeans in solidarity. I saw these images on television, and controlling my rage, my outrage, I imagined how powerful it would be for everybody to wear jeans to protest all the harmful myths and lies that are told about victims and who is to blame. Um, that is how Denim Day in LA was started. Now, 15 years later, we still hear some of the same excuses. She wore a short dress, she was drunk, she was his wife, she was his ex-girlfriend. He's a convicted criminal. What does he expect in jail? He deserves what he gets. What was she doing in the bar at 2 a.m.? She's a prostitute. It can't happen to a boy. You know children lie. I thought she meant yes. The goals of Denim Day are twofold, to support survivors and educate ourselves and others. Our aim is to change the hearts and minds of every person. Denim Day is a call to action. It summons us to do nothing less than change this sh shame and blame and the cover-ups that we have become so accustomed to. To change this culture, we need leadership from those who are in charge of all of our institutions, the schools, the courts, the universities, the military, government, religious institutions, corporations, and the most intimate institution of all, the family. Let's spread violence prevention education like a virus, a healthy virus. But the positional leaders are not the only kind of leadership that's needed. To really make these changes, it requires all of us. Every one of you has to decide how you can support the survivors you know and the survivors you don't. Every one of us has to examine how we too hold on to some of these excuses, these attitudes, they creep in. We can't help it until we intentionally help it. Every one of you can be a leader on this issue. No longer is it acceptable or agreeable to sit on the sidelines. The time for engagement is now. Let's make what Denim Day stands for be more than just one day of the year. Let's carry the spirit of the day. There is no excuse and never an invitation to rape. This idea must become an embodied attitude. It has to leap off the button and become part of our values. This issue of sexual violence is finally coming out of the shadows. Many of the people on this stage, in this fabulous space, and around the country today are helping that happen. We all have to make sure it doesn't slink back into the shadows. Peace over violence has a, a voice, but with our new partnership with guests, 
And with all of your commitment, we have a megaphone. Today, while we are convening here, there are Denim Days in New York City, Milwaukee, Denim Day Nevada, Denim Day California, back on the steps of the Capitol in Sacramento, military bases, the Navy boot camp, and in guest stores and factory outlets all over the country and in Canada. I'm going to venture a guess, <laughs> no pun, uh, <laughs> that there is a denim day in every state of the country this year. Last year, 7 million people wore jeans on purpose. This year, we may not be able to count them. So thank you for making, all of you who are here today, making a, fashion, a, a social statement with your fashion statement. And you all look so good today. <laughs> Let's continue this intentionality. So one day we reverse the belief that sexual abuse and rape is inevitable. So that no child, no wife, no boy, no girl, no teen, no mother, no soldier, no coworker, no prisoner, no refugee, no deaf or disabled person, no male or female or transgender human of any color, religion, or origin is sexually violated, trafficked, or abused. <laughs> the Peace Over Violence family is so proud to partner with the Guest family so that no family is impacted by sexual violence. One on one, one by one, together, I believe we can make this happen.